Okay, so minor complaint time. Um, we're having a lot of issues with our room right now. So on um, move-in day, we moved in. We'd been in the room for, I don't know, three hours maybe. We were all unpacking, getting ready, and we lost power in our in our room. Like we just lost power. And the toilet wouldn't flush because it's electric. And we were like, that's strange. And no other room around us was experiencing this except for our room. So we went to the desk and we had to file four different complaints before they would even send someone to look at it, before they even wrote it down that it was an issue, which is irritating because we don't have electricity. It's about to be nighttime, which means our room is just going to be pitch black. We can't use our bathroom because the toilet doesn't flush and we weren't sure if we had running water. It turned out we did have running water, which was good. So we got to shower by iPhone flashlight on the first night, which kind of sucked because we were all sweaty and gross from moving in. So that was the first issue. And we had to file four complaints for that one. Now we had another issue, which is this creaking that you can probably hear in the background. That creaking coming from here. So it does this all day, every day. We don't know why. And we filed two complaints about it already. Um, and they basically said, oh, well, that's just how the ship works. Well, knocked on the neighbor's door. They don't hear it. No one else hears it. It's just us. So it's probably not how the ship works if we're the only one that has creaking. So I talked to our maintenance guy who cleans our room today. And he was like, no, that's not normal. You need to call a carpenter. Go talk to maintenance. And I was like, well, we're deaf. If we can't even get them to come look at it, we're definitely not getting a carpenter, which is irritating because it gets louder as the ship sways. So if we hit the turbulence, like we're expected to on the way to Japan, like we just won't be able to sleep because it gets so ridiculously loud and constant. So that's super annoying. And now on day three, we, I, we have been here three full days. Okay. So it is the seventh today and we boarded on the fourth. Is it the 8th? It might be the 8th. Oh no, I think it's the 7th. We have a third issue, which is also bathroom related, which I will now explain. So here's the bathroom. You can see the beautiful poster I made that said toilet is broken again. And when you go in, it sounds like there's running water. However, there isn't any running water, as you can see from the shower in the sink. No, instead it's coming from the toilet, which when you look in, you'll notice has absolutely no water. It's suctioning air down the pipe, it's completely drained and is making this weird noise. And we don't know why it's happening and we don't know what to do. So this is a new development since this morning when I went to class. Um, hopefully I don't have to file five complaints about it. I'm going to go file a request to have it fixed. Um, maybe they'll actually fix it. Otherwise we're going to have to use the public bathroom until they choose to, which is on the fifth floor, which is not the floor we live on. Um, and it also has, is small and in a very strange place. So I will hopefully get a good response from them and they'll actually fix it this time. I don't have high hopes, but not much else I can do. So I will update you on our toilet issues later. Okay, we have a toilet update and it doesn't sound good. So it's bad, it's so weird. Let's go see. This is what it sounds like, just chilling. There's no liquid in the bowl. No liquid, it's like a suction thing happening, okay? If you pee in there, it does this. It's like at the dentist. It's at the dentist and you flush it. And it sounds like a storm. And then it's okay for a minute while the water fills back up. And then all the water will suction back out in a few seconds. It's cursed. This room is cursed. With all the problems we're having, honestly, it really is. You know what? Good luck, Charlie. <laughs> Good luck, Charlie. Okay, update on the toilet situation. So I've been gone for like 
an hour and a half maybe ish give or take to read and study and i came back and we have good news we now have a working toilet with water in it you know only the necessities okay so it only took them like less than two hours or around two hours so annoying to fix the toilet so i will give them this one there was a great response time we have working toilets now we have water that can flush which is super great so shout out to maintenance for getting that one done